Here's the first one. Physical. The physical side. Got to take care of yourself. Do not neglect to take care of yourself. Good phraseology used in the Bible, in my amateur way, but let me put it to you best I can. Here's what it says. Treat your body like a temple. That's a good phrase, good suggestion. A temple meaning something you take extremely good care of. A temple, that's a good phrase. Treat your body like a temple, not a woodshed. A temple, a temple, take good care. It's the only place you've got to live currently. The temple. Nutrition, my mother studied nutrition, passed it along to me, passed it along to my father, my children, my grandchildren. What a legacy that was. Learning to just take care of your stuff. Key phrase, some people don't do well because they don't feel well. They've got the gifts, they've got the skills. Maybe they just haven't taken care of themselves. They don't have the vitality. Key phrase, vitality is a major part of success. Vitality. So take care of yourself. I know a guy that raises racehorses. I'm telling you, the guy feeds his horses better than he feeds himself. He's so careful how he feeds his horses. He's so careful what they eat. He's so careful that they get everything. And because of that extreme care, I mean, these are magnificent animals. They can run like the wind. But you ought to see this guy. Ten steps up a flight of stairs, and I mean, he's all out of breath. His horses can run like the wind, and he can hardly make it up the steps. The guy takes care of his animals better than he takes care of himself. Some people feed their dogs better than they feed their kids. Physical. Now, there's all kinds of parts to physical. Here's one. Appearance is part of the physical. Never have a second chance to make a first impression. Physical side. And here's some of the best advice on appearance I can give you. It comes from ancient script again. It says, God looks on the inside. People look on the outside. Isn't that good information? Now you say, well, people shouldn't judge you by how you look. Well, let me give you a clue. They do. <laughs> they do. You can't deal in these shoulds and shouldn'ts. You'll be tipped over the rest of your life. Now, of course, when people get to know you, they'll judge you by more than what they see. But at first, they're going to take a look. So, here's the best advice I can give you. Make sure the outside is a major reflection of what's going on inside. The physical side. A few minutes a day, stay healthy. A little bit of study on nutrition, stay healthy. Key. Now, here's the next part of personal development, the spiritual part. Now, I'm an amateur on the spiritual side. I do happen to believe that human beings are more than just an advanced life form. an advanced species of the animal kingdom. I, I do believe humans are a special creation. That's just my personal belief, and I don't ask you to buy it. But here's what I do ask you to buy. If you do believe in spirituality in any manner, here's my best advice. Study it and practice it. Do not neglect your values. Do not neglect your virtues. If you do believe in spirituality, my advice is study it and practice it. Don't let it go unstudied. Don't let it go unnourished, if you do believe. That's my best advice on the spiritual side. Now here's the third part. The mental side. Part of this personal development challenge is to develop mentally. Learn, study, grow, change. It's what schooling is all about. And the human development takes time incredible amounts of time. That's why we've taken the time for this seminar. It just takes time. Some things you can't cover in a 20-minute speech. 
You can't cover in a little five minute talk. It takes time. For humans, it takes seem like more time than any other life form, human beings. The little wildebeest in Africa. Guess how much time it's got as soon as it's born to be able to run with the pack so it doesn't get eaten by the lions. Guess how much time it's got? A few minutes. As soon as the little wildebeest is born, tries to stand up, falls down. Its mother nudges it, gets it to stand back up, falls back down. Finally, on little shaky legs, it tries to nurse. Mother pushes it away. She moves away, so it can't nurse. Why, it can't nurse now. You've got to develop some strength now. The lions, the lions, the lions. Falls down, gets back up, tries to nurse. Mother pushes it away. No. You've got to get these legs strong. How much time have we got? Not much time, Mama Wildebeest says. Not much time. Not hours, not days, minutes. Wow. But the human baby, wow. After 16 years, we're not sure. <laughs> Unbelievable amount of time it takes. So it does take time for personal development, it does take time for spiritual development, physical development. But here's also what takes time, and that's your mental development. Feeding the mind, nourishing the mind. Some people read so little, they got rickets of the mind. They couldn't give you a good strong argument as to their own personal beliefs. Here's one of the challenges we've got as parents. And that is to get our kids ready to debate the major life issues. They've got to get ready to debate. We've spent this last couple of decades debating communism. Communism taught capital belongs in the hands of the state. We've been teaching, no, capital belongs in the hands of the people. Communism taught. People are too dumb and stupid to know what to do with capital. You got to take capital away from all the dumb, stupid people and give it to the all-knowing, all-wise state and let the state run everything and let the people meekly show up for their work assignment. All glory to the state, communism taught. Tit says, well, is that right? No, all glory to the people. Let the state be the servant of its people, not the people be the servant of the state. I'm telling you, you got to be able to pick up those ideologies. You got to be able to pick up the philosophy. And here's the next part. You got to be able to defend it. If you can't defend your virtues and if you can't defend your values, I'm telling you, you'll fall prey to philosophies that are not in your best interest. And we've got to help our teenagers. We've got to help our kids, especially to be able to debate the major life issues, the political issues and the social issues and the religious issues and the spiritual issues and the nutritional issues and, and the economic issues and all of the rest of the issues that are valuable for us to build the kind of equities we want. You got to get yourself ready. And one of the ways you got to get ready is not just physical and not just spiritual. You got to get ready mentally. And this is where Shof went to work on me, to be ready mentally, to develop the philosophy and also be able to defend your virtues and your values.